to Montgomery to begin the drive. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. First run of the game for Jameer Gibbs, the Alabama product. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. But that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second down at seven. Value three, value three. Turbo seven. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense. Countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time play for their defense. They'll see about converting this third and eight. 12. Two for 66. Golf. And that is incomplete. And the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Fourth down, golf. He finds his man complete. That's Reynolds. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. So this offense able to convert on fourth. And now a fresh set of downs here. First and ten. Two for one. Two for one. Huh? Now it's golf. Into double coverage and it's intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland, and he's just across midfield and down at the 49-yard line. Offensively, a far from ideal start there with a pick on the opening drive. Yeah, not exactly what they were looking for. We know that. That's pretty obvious. The beauty, though, is it's happening early. If they don't panic, they don't compound this problem, they've got a long way to go and a chance to get back in it. Taken down at the 47-yard line. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and Going to the air. Tonga Bailoa. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Play action. Now it's Tua. Oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. And the Lions are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Now they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. Back to Montgomery on second down. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. That good for 19 and a first down. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Barton I came into this game eager to see how they would hold up the man coverage. And on that play, they held up quite well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Listen, 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 listen. Second and ten. Golf again. Throw left side to Reynolds. 
They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover. But doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah. And they had all that momentum after getting the football. And now zapped right back in the other direction. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. the ball away and it falls incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Now two are going to change the play. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Oh, and that is incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Tongue of Iloa to throw on second down here. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. One, high. Right. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. It's Hill, complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. into the hands of Chosen. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. From the 10, first and goal. And now they'll shift things around. First down and goal to go. They'll run a champ. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. Brings up second and goal at the 12 yard line. From the gun, it's Tua. They'll swing this out wide. Here's Achan. Touchdown! Devon Achan. A 12 yard touchdown grab. And the Dolphins post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that makes the score 7 0. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. Let's see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game, and sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. Rick Flair. On second down, here's Gibbs. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. Kill, kill. Here we go, fellas. Here we go. 
Going back to Gibbs on first down. He'll take this to the 46. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. Goff now looks to throw. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. He finds his man complete. It's Reynolds. And unable to break away. They stop him a few yards shy. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. Seven to nothing leads. They don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and six. Looking to pass. Tua. And this is going to be incomplete. Yeah, offenses always try to be smart about when they're trying to dial up a screen to the running back because they understand you can only go to the well so many times in a game without the defense starting to anticipate the call. Throwing now is Tungavailoa. That's caught by Chosen. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. They throw it out right complete. And he will have a Dolphins first down. They go for it on fourth and two, and it's a gain of six. Two and a throw again. This one thrown underneath to Achan. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Here's Tua. This will be caught. It's water. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. A-Chan is not going anywhere. He'll be hit and dropped for no gain at the two-yard line. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. One more time with A-Chan. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now Tua signaling to change things up. Tua with a quick throw caught out wide. They're able to hold him to three there, and that leads to a fourth and goal. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Sanders' kick is good, and the Dolphins will add on to their lead. So they're content to take the three. Somewhat of a conservative call there, opting not to go for it on fourth and inches. And that's from a team that you and I know is not usually playing it close to the vest. It's a little bit of a surprise that they opted for the three instead of going for it. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll... And that's caught inside the 35! And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This is a 49-yard attempt. Right hash. 
Badgley able to punch this one through. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. Well, the good news, at least they won't take that goose egg into the locker room. Maybe a little something to build on. Yeah, it hasn't been the greatest of first halves for them, has it? But at least now, as you mentioned, they put some points on the board. And it's been funny in our experience watching games. Sometimes something as little as a field goal can change the fortunes of a team. And they could come out and look real sharp in the second half. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked out officially at the 21. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one. So now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. And quickly, they get to the line. Out of the gun, is a give to HM. And this time, he's able to take it down to the 42. First down, back to HM. And he's got it to about the 40. Second down and eight. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. They're going deep for Hill. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by a feet to Melifonwu. And the Lions are going to have it here at their own nine-yard line. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Tua getting it quickly out to Waddle. So the completion gets him just a yard. And now that sets up third and two. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. They'll run for it with A-Champ. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. He winds up getting only a couple there, down to the 29. And now they're in the hurry up. A two-yard pickup makes it third and eight. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. Tua hit, and the ball is out. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't he? He really does, and I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that time frame, and any time he didn't get rid of the ball within the, the right amount of time, they would blow a horn. And, and now off to the races, down the right side. A big play there for Detroit. 
48 yards. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Going underneath, Gibbs has it. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Off play action. Here's Goff. He gets this out wide to Gibbs. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. They'll fake the handoff. Now gone. There's Laporta. He's got it. Touchdown, Lions. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Lions are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. And this will be caught as they convert here for two. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, we were having a tough patch. This too shall pass, this too shall pass. And if I we kept having a rough patch, he said, but you've got to do something <laughs> up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score to a hit, and the ball is out. We have played three quarters. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. All right, fellas. That two is going to change things up. To a fast pass outside complete. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. So a big one coming now for Jason Sanders. This for a fourth quarter lead. Sanders' kick is good, and the Dolphins have taken the lead here in the fourth. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Now a play fake, and it's gone. Rolling to his right. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And he's fortunate to get anything from that. Give him a yard up to the 49. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. There's Gaw. Escaping the pressure right. And that is incomplete. 
as quarterbacks like to do. He pushed it downfield on that throw, but I think that since he was outside the pocket and there was open space, it would have been a good time for his first carry of the game. Throwing on third, gone. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 32-yard line. Here's Goff. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Gibbs. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. And at his size, he's a smaller back. He can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. Four down. Rick Flair. Now it's gone. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is it just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. Who wants it more? This is fourth and a yard. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. And it is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. Josh Reynolds from three yards out. And the Lions put together a fourth quarter drive to take the lead. Now Goff. And no, it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Ready. They'll come up first and 10 here. Here's Tua. On the ground, it's Mostert to start the drive. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They'll come up now on second down. Throwing to a second down. Here's Mostert again. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Now to a, They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. And we've reached the one-minute mark in this game. Tua. He's got to complete to Waddle. And getting this just shy of midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and 10 now. Here's Tua. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked up by a Fitu Melifonwu. 
And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Lions touchdown. Charles, we've seen.